Good morning, everyone. Today's Bible reading will be on um, Genesis chapter 22, verses 1 through 14. And prior to reading the Bible verse, I'm going to read the, uh, the uh, training application for that Bible verse. And here's the training application for the Bible verse. Through the years, Abraham had learned many tough le lessons about the importance of obeying God. When he was called out of error, when he went to Egypt, and when he had to wait for Isaac's birth, initially, Abram did not always show that he trusted or believed God. But through each test, he saw God's willingness and ability to keep his promises, even if it took a miracle. This is why God asked Abraham to sacrifice Isaac. That's in Genesis chapter 22, verses 1 and 2. To kill his beloved only son, his miracle child, on the altar. God did not want Isaac to die, but he wanted Abraham to sacrifice Isaac in his heart so they could learn to trust God completely. That's in Hebrews chapter 11, verse 19. Imagine what Abraham must have felt as he walked with Isaac up the mountain, each torturous step, leading him painfully closer to unspeakable grief. Yet Abraham obeyed, and God honored his faith. Obeying God often be, can be quite a struggle because it might mean giving up something that we truly want. We should not expect our obedience to God to be easy or to come naturally. Just as fire refines our ore to extract precious metals, God refines us through difficult circumstances. When tested, we can complain or we can obey. Trust in God as we try to see how he is teaching us in ways might God be, in what ways might God be testing your faith? What steps of faith do you need to take today to obey him? So well, that's the uh, training application right there. And uh, here's the Bible reading. Abraham, God called, take your son, your only son, yes, Isaac, whom you love so much, and go to the land of Morah. Sacrifice him there as a burnt offering on one of the mountains, which I will point out to you. The next morning, Abraham got up early. He saddled his donkey and took two of his servants with him, along with his son Isaac. Then he chopped up wood to build a fire for a burnt offering and set out for the place God had told him to go. On the third day of the journey, Abraham saw the place in the distance. Stay here with the donkey, Abraham told the young men. The boy and I will travel a little farther. We will worship there, and then we will come right back. Abraham placed the wood for the burnt offering on Isaac's shoulders, while he himself carried the knife and the fire. As the two of them went on together, Isaac said, Father, yes, my son, Abraham replied. We have the wood and the fire, said the boy, but where is the lamb for the sacrifice? God will provide the lamb, my son, Abraham answered, and they both went on together. When they arrived at the place where God had told Abraham to go, he built an altar and placed wood on it. Then he tied Isaac up and laid him on the altar over the wood. And Abraham took the knife and lifted it up to kill his son as a sacrifice to the Lord. At that moment, the angel of the Lord shouted to him from heaven, Abraham, Abraham, yes, he answered, I'm listening. Lay down the knife, the angel said. Do not hurt the boy in any way. For now I know that you truly fear God. You have not withheld even your beloved son from me. Then Abraham looked up and saw a ram caught by its horns in a bush. So he took the ram and sacrificed it as a burnt offering on the altar in the place of his son. Abraham named the place the Lord provide. This name is now become a proverb on the mountain of the Lord it will be provided 
Well, that's a important um, message and um, and celebrate recovery. We have to um, give up all our hurts, habits, and hangups so the Lord can um, get rid of those and provide absolute salvation. And that's what we try to do there. And um, and with everything else, we have to let go of what we're trying to cling on to and let the Lord provide. Amen.